In a daily ritual nearly 200 years old, volunteers raise a giant 15-star flag on a blustery morning in Maryland. It's a replica of the original flag, sewn by widow Mary Pickersgill, which survived a ferocious battle in the War of 1812 and is now enshrined as a national icon in the Smithsonian Institution. On September 13, 1814, the star-shaped Fort McHenry was all that stood between the British and Maryland's greatest city, Baltimore. Against overwhelming odds, the fort withstood 25 hours of bombardment by British warships and a rocket vessel. On a boat on the Patapsco River, a young poet witnessed the battle throughout the night. When he saw the flag still flying after the onslaught, he wrote these famous lines. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Francis Scott Key named his poem The Defense of Fort McHenry. It was later renamed The Star-Spangled Banner. In 1931, it became America's national anthem. <laughs>